Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this new tutorial series, we are going to create our own custom component in DevExpress. First, let me create the projects and I will uh, explain in detail why we have to create our own components, why we just don't move over our form and just uh, change from properties. I will explain all this in details. So first, let me create a new project. And then here I choose Windows.NET Framework and then I say next and here I name it custom let's say dev express custom components then I say create Here we don't need this form from Windows, we'll add uh, DevExpress form, here I delete this one. And then on my project I right click here and I say add, uh, sorry, add DevExpress item and new item. Here I choose form and I just name it form1 and I say add item. This is my DevExpress form. Let's we can change the skin here from select skin. I like it DevExpress style. I choose this one. And then I close it. This is our form. First go to the, let's go to the toolbar and I will add a button edit. This is my button edit over my form and then let's add simple button let's I just I call it temp this is nothing because later I will explain why I just add this one also now here uh, we have a button edit Whenever we try to intend a, create a big project, maybe this uh, button edit will be using in maybe 10 or 20, I don't know, it depends on the projects, but if it is big, maybe 20 or 50 times we'll be using. But in this, it is like a default uh, button edit. For example, let's first make it some modification. I just click here. And from all properties first let me run it as you see that this is my button edit as you see that I write text here I don't want I I edit that one because button edit usually we click it and another form opens and we choose it our value comes here and we can never change it first I want to disable this one I click here from all properties here I come for text edit style where is the text edit style mm. let me see text edit style here I choose disable text edit style now it is disabled let's run it as you see that I cannot write anything here yes perfect and uh, let's make another uh, from all properties I want to change the color when it focus uh, on my button edit I want to change the back color of it I just from all properties here I come appearance focus and then from back color I just change the color I say light sharp and then I close it and then let's run it as you see that when it focus on our for example when I focus on my button this is gone when I focus on my uh, button edit as you see that the back color has changed so beside this one I just I come from properties here we have enter move next control I set it true so what is this whenever I'm on the on my button edit if I press enter it will move to temp 
automatically to another uh, component. Let's run it. And let's uh, press enter. As you see that, it changed. Because I didn't do this temp, I can do also temp from properties. Uh, what is the Enter. Move next. This is maybe not from here, but I think it was something like this. I think from all properties. Anyway, this is not important because our topic is not with this one. Now what we did here. First, text edit style we disabled. Then when it focused, for example, we changed the back color. And then when we enter it, it will go to, it will move another uh, another component automatically so we did change three modification on our uh, button edit we can make it more because when we have a when we create a, a big projects can you imagine i did only for this one if i want to use this button edit in 20 20 times in my projects because it might be even more when you have a big project. So each 20 times I have to come here and change text edit style and then appearance focus back color and then enter move next control. I said it true. 20 times I will do it. But we don't want to do it. We just want to create one our own custom component and what we'll do it it will be adding inside our toolbox we'll just like select and move over our form and we'll use it this is not for only button edit but for only for for all components for example for text edit or for memo edit or for i don't know uh, lixbox edit or other data edit because we have many components so that's why we have to create our own custom components what we are going to do we will come to solution explorer and here I just want to right click, add new folder, I will add new folder, I will just name it custom components and then I will right click it, add a new folder and I will name it components. Now, while we are on our components, I right click it and I say add new class and then just I name it for example the name of component is button edit I just say it my button edit because we have to make sure we don't write the same name because we already have a button edit in toolbox so I change it as a my button edit and I click add and then here I just set it public now this is just empty class if i want to get i if i want to create my own button edit i have to uh, inherit that class from button edit then we will have all button edit options text properties and methods so here what i will do i will write button edit now the moment i do that now my button edit is a button edit all options is the same you can use this one but uh, in order to show this button edit on toolbox we have to uh, write uh, we have to we have to add an attribute it called toolbox item so i just here i write toolbox item and then it asks for a boolean i set it true the reason i set it true this my button edit it will be visible in toolbox let's uh, first uh, build this one i just control shift and b now i build it and now if i go to the form and from toolbox i just write the name of my component i name it my button edit as you see that this is my button edit 
I just move here. Now here we have no differences uh, because we, we made modification here. For example, let's add another button edit. Not my button edit, but button edit. I just move it here. So there is no difference between both of them. If we make some modification on our but my button edit, then it will be diff there, there there will be like a differences. So I just remove both of them and I come my button edit. In order to change properties and other options, we have to go to constructor. I go to Ctor constructions and here if you if you press control and space as you see that we have a lot of options here so most of uh, properties for example for button edit let's come when we click here we have all properties so this property it name properties we can change all of these things from properties so now let's remove this one and come here and I write properties and from properties for example what I want to do it we said that first we want to uh, disable text edit style as a disable so as you see that here we have it text edit style this text edit style is the same sorry each time I remove it I apologize that text edit style is the same with this one mm, this one as you see that so this is all pr from properties so here I will say text edit style and then assign or equal as you see that there we choose disable text edit disable text editor now my button edit uh, text edit style is disabled this is first the secondly what we did that uh, we change whenever it focused on our uh, button edit and the back color was changed so let's do this one i just say properties and here we have appearance focus because there also it was appearance focus if you go to the all properties as you see that the name was appearance focus and the back color so I will do the same thing here I will say appearance focus and then back color and then what is my back color it was light child this is like this and the third one what we did that when we are when we focus on our component uh, button edit when we press the enter it just moved to the next control so this one we, this one is different things we have to override it because if you go to the properties it is here so from we, we have to override these uh, properties what we are going to do here we will come here we say override and then we'll write the name of our properties enter move next control as you see that uh, it's we can we can get and set uh, as a boolean assign there when we choose it we just set it true as you see that is true and false so here we say enter move next control and in the end i will set it true now we are done with the button edit. Let's build it. Uh, Control Shift B, and now we build it. Now we have successfully created our first component with modification. And the name was my button edit. I just move over here. This is my custom, and this is default button edit. And let's run it and see it. As you see that the custom one. You can change the text because text edit style is is enabled, not disabled. But here you cannot write anything. And also when we focus it, as you see that the back color has changed, 
but here nothing is changed. And also when we focus on our uh, button edit, when we press enter, it will go move the next component. As you see that, it go. But here nothing. So uh, usually big projects are like this. Like I don't, I never work in the company or I never work as a programmer, but uh, they do like this. If if uh, they they have a big projects, they may be use uh, 20 times a simple button or maybe 40 times, maybe I don't know, maybe 100 times uh, text edit. So 100 times. If you want to make this modification, uh, certainly you'll do more. You cannot go uh, one by one and change all these options because it will take a lot of a lot of time. It will waste your time. So simply, they what they do, they just create their own components like as a list, and when they want to use it, they just move over. For example, button, they just move over here and then use it like this. So this was the first, uh, thanks for watching guys, uh, if you like my channel please subscribe and see you in next video.